go. Today's lesson is on the inverse square law. Since we've been working with flash, we need to understand the power and the intensity of the flash. So imagine a scenario where you have a flash at full power and your subject is one foot away. If you move the subject to two feet away, how much does that flash power change? Most people think it's going to change, it's going to cut the power in half. However, the inverse square law says differently. So the inverse square law is one over the distance squared. So with our distance being two feet, the formula would now read one over two squared, which is a quarter. So instead of a half a power, we have now dropped to a quarter power just by moving our subject by another foot back. So going from one feet to two feet. So let's take a look at what that looks like on the ground if we had light that would represent that distance. So with our flash head and our subject one foot apart, we have full power. As we continue multiple feet away, you see that flash falls off exponentially until when you get to 10 feet away, you have almost no flash representing and illuminating your subject. So as you're looking at flash power on your subject, you have many options to change the power. You can certainly change the power on the flash head. You can also change your ISO. You can change your aperture. Or you can change the distance of the flash to the subject. So depending on how convenient which one of those options are is what I would recommend to change. So if I were photographing a person a foot or two away and I needed more or less power, it would probably be the easiest to just move the flash, take a small step, either with the subject or myself. So that is the inverse square law and how light falls off.